Hi, I'm Mod Punchtree, and I have spent an unhealthy amount of time building redstone computers in Minecraft. I have also helped to create and maintain a programming language called URCL. Now, I have been in several computer building communities, and I know that there are many talented people out there who design their own CPUs. One thing that is very common between almost all of these CPUs is that they do not follow any kind of predefined standard. And sure, they have similar parts from the registers to the RAM, but the assembly code that these CPUs run on is completely proprietary. This means no programs can be shared between these CPUs, and they have little support outside that of the original CPU maker. URCL was created to be a simple, universal assembly language which can be translated into many different CPUs assembly code. URCL has been designed as a way to be able to share programs between multiple low-level CPUs with very different architectures. So, what is URCL? URCL stands for Universal Reduced Computer Language. It is a simple RISC-like three operand assembly-like language that uses a load store architecture. All URCL instructions are in the format operation followed by destination followed by source 1 followed by source 2. So here is an add instruction in URCL. This instruction simply adds the value contained in register 2 to register 3, then it puts the result into register 1. If you are familiar with any assembly language, then you will be able to easily understand URCL. And even if you aren't, URCL is a fantastic way to get started with learning assembly. With every new language, a good place to start is by calculating the Fibonacci sequence, where each number of the sequence is simply the sum of the previous two numbers. In URCL, Fibonacci looks like this. We first start with a load immediate instruction. This instruction sets register 1 to the immediate value of 0. Then, we have another load immediate instruction, which this time sets register 2 to the immediate value of 1, which is the start of our Fibonacci sequence. Then we have a label called dot loop. Then we have an add instruction, which simply adds register 1 to register 2 and puts the result into register 1. Then we have another add instruction, which again adds register 1 to register 2, but this time puts the result into register 2. Then finally, we jump to the label, which we created earlier, called dot loop, meaning these two add instructions will be repeated indefinitely, and the Fibonacci sequence will be contained within registers 1 and 2. That example was relatively simple, but URCL has many more features such as conditional branches, subroutines, bitwise operations, stack instructions, and IO ports. Here are some examples of what is possible in URCL. First we have Pong, made by yours truly. Then we have Bad Apple, made by Bram. And finally, a line drawing program drawing an impossible triangle by tape. So, how do we translate URCL into assembly code? There are two ways to translate URCL. The most common method involves translating the instructions one at a time into the target CPU's assembly. Here we have an add instruction which takes three operands. The first operand has been denoted as A in angular bracket. The second operand is B, and the third operand is C. This can be directly translated into the equivalent in MPU7 assembly. 
Then the same can be done for the load a media instruction and the jump instruction. So now, if we take the Fibonacci program from earlier, this can be translated into MPU7 assembly. This assembly can then be ran on the MPU7 to make it do Fibonacci. Well, this is all nice and all, but why bother? URCL enables people to share code between CPUs. URCL has a VS Code syntax highlighter. It has several emulators as well as compilers, so your CPU would be able to take advantage of all of these tools just for the small cost of translating your CL to your assembly code. For compilers, they take high-level languages such as B code and translate that into your CL. Then, if that is translated into your CPU's assembly, you can then run that program without having to write your own compiler. Essentially, your RCL can then be used as an intermediate language. So how then can you join your RCL? We have a Discord which is linked in the description along with the official documentation. In the Discord, we vote for changes to your RCL and share the tools that we create for it. Your RCL has only been possible because of the community's continued support, so please do consider joining. Thank you for watching. Please comment that like button and subscribe for more tutorials, Minecraft CPU, and your CL content. And with that, cheerio!